Shoot me? If you want to shoot me, just shoot me. Pull the trigger. I get you, man. I get you. Who do you think you are? I have the gun. I get you, man. 
Yeah. Whatever you yeah, want, you just take it and get out. The gun. You want to kill me? You're going to do what I say, partner. Shoot me then. I keep it real, and I will. You want to kill me? Shoot me then. Big man. Turn around. Turn around. Now you move, and I'm going to shoot you in your head. Start moving to the house. I got news for you. You're not going in my house. Shoot me right in the back of the head right now. Because if you're not going to do it, I'm going to take your gun. You want to kill me? Huh? You want to kill me? Take the gun. Take it! Right here! Man. I'm gonna leave. I'm Pull gonna it. shoot you. Pull I'm it! Gonna leave. They're coming okay. to come! Okay. Get the Go. hell out of here! can't express how much I miss her if only I could hold her hand one last time if only I could have her next to me so I can rest to the melody of her heartbeat but as a flower my love has faded away Lord what have you taken her Did you hear that? Uh huh. Sounds like someone's behind us. Well, it's Halloween night. Probably a trick or treater. Yeah. I've been waiting to go trick or treating all year. So have I. This is gonna be so fun. Hopefully, she comes with us. Hi. Did I get ya? Yeah. <laughs> Thing is made of rubber, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, did you guys come here to talk to me about something? Yeah, do you want to go trick-or-treating with us? Yeah, we're going to get lots of candy. Yeah, we're going to raid the whole neighborhood. You should definitely come with us. Well, I'm making dinner for my grandma. I can't really come. Where's your costume? Well, I, I don't really have one. Oh, well, we're going to rate all the candy in the neighborhood. Yeah, so... maybe even in the other neighborhoods. Okay, bye. I'll probably come out later and stop at a few houses nearby. But, bye.
All right, we're out here. Yeah, bye. Bye. Can I help you? Trick or treat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't celebrate Halloween. I usually turn the light out every year. It's not a good time for me. Uh, where's your costume? We couldn't afford it, we're too poor. Uh, where's your bag? Couldn't afford that either. Who's your parents? They're dead. Who are you living with? My grandma. Where's your jacket? I don't have one. You know what? My wife has a extra jacket. Let me get it for you, okay? Yeah, it's my wife's jacket. Oh, thank you. Look at how I keep you warm. Put that on. Thanks. Yeah, I, mean, I can gather a few things for you. Just wait a minute, okay? Thank you. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I might have some money for you, too. Really? Yeah, hold on a second. I'll be right back again. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, here's some money. Thank you. Hey, you know what? Anytime uh, you need anything, uh, come by the house, okay? Tell your grandma I said hi. Bring her by too. Well, be safe. Have a good night. Okay, Lord. Maybe you do still have a purpose for me. When you got me another night, I'll wait one more night.
next time I'll put a bullet in your head. You gonna wear your vest or what? I'll be right back. Just a quick canine sniff. Nothing serious. Well, here, don't forget your magazine. You're gonna need bullets. Okay. I might be retired now, but I got more years on than you. <laughs> it's Halloween, you never know. 
I'm gonna get going so I can get back to you. Well, at least take it with you. Throw it over top if you need to. All right, I'll take it. I'll be right back. I love you. Love you too. Sorry, there's not much for lunch, honey. I didn't have much for food, and I'm still short on the rent money. We might have to be moving, dear. Why do we have to move? Where will we go? Maybe to the homeless shelter. I don't know. But I don't want to go to the homeless shelter. I don't know what else to do, huh? But I'm trying my best. I know you are, Grandma. Times are hard now. The only thing we can do is just pray. You're right. That is all we can do. And my Lord called and he says I have till Friday to pay what I owe him. I'm afraid I won't come up with the money. I'm trying to get us into the Section 8, but there's a long waiting list. Yes, I only have six months to a year to live, dear. That's horrible. God will take care of us. I just don't know how. All we can do is pray. I just have to keep trusting in the Lord. See how you were doing. Oh, I'm doing okay. Looks like you got home safe, huh? Yeah. Thanks to you. Sorry about that. Yeah. Can't really ask why bad things happen in life. They just happen. Yeah, they do happen. Well, you don't have to worry about him anymore. I think the cops got him. Good. That's good. Jacket keeping you warm? Yeah, thanks. Where's your jacket? I never get cold. Even in the winter, I wear these cut-off shirts. My wife used to cut the sleeves off for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only the beginning of fall, so it's not getting too cold. Yeah. We might have to be moving soon. Moving? Where are you going to go? I don't know. Grandma's sick. She's, doctor. She's sick? Yeah, the doctor says she's only got like six more months. I wish you lived longer than that. Hmm? Maybe. God's willing. Yeah. Whatever God's will is, sometimes He does things that we don't understand. Yeah. And sometimes He takes people that we don't think need to be taken. <laughs> but 
he's in charge. So we just have to follow him and trust him, even when it's hard, yeah. even when it hurts. <sighs> yeah. Well, we're gonna get going. Got some things I need to do. So tell your grandma I said hi. Okay. Thank you. All right. See you later. Bye. God, please help Grandma to be around for a long time and please help us find a place to live and thank you for everything that you've done for us and you are all we have and continue to provide for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, how you doing? I just came to tell you it's final. We're gonna be moving. Grandma tried to find us a home, but there's an eight month waiting list, so we'll be staying at the shelter in the meantime. Don't worry, you two don't have to go to a shelter. I have a guest house in the back. There's two rooms. You won't be staying in here with me, okay? Your grandmother will have her privacy. There's nothing to worry about. Go talk it over with your grandmother and uh, we'll make arrangements. I hope you move yourself in. I don't know what to say. Well, you don't have to say anything. You go back and tell your grandmother you have a place to go. Thank you. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. I'm here for you and your grandma. And go get your stuff packed. Thank you. Hey, by the way, I'm Michael. I'm Rachel. Rachel, wow, that's my wife's name. And my grandmother's Alice. Okay, you go tell your grandma.
do you know about this man? What's his name? His name is Michael. Even though we don't know him very well, God has given us a place to stay, Grandma. I don't know what else to do, but I, I guess we're going to have to accept his offer. I don't want us on the street. Like you always said, Grandma, we have to trust him and step out on things. I'm going to go pack up our stuff, Grandma. Thank you so much for the nice man who's done this for us. And please, please help Grandma to get better. And please let us live long lives. And thank you again for everything. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Is that all you have? Yeah. Well, there's a few big things at the house. We need your help with those. Okay, we'll get all that. Here, come on in. Let me close this. I know I need to do a little bit of work, but I'm going to finish all this for you too, okay? Oh, this is Okay, nice. thank That's you. my door over there, and this is your entrance. Okay. Your own private entrance. You doing okay, Grandma? Hey, let me get that box for you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, we're heading in. Just follow me. It's small, but you do have two bedrooms. Oh, it's more than enough. Thank you. Let me two go check the bedrooms out. They're upstairs. Wow. Oh, wow. How wonderful. This is my room. I feel like a princess. Hey, I hope you don't mind. I got you a few things for your room. I got a surprise for you. Now, these were my wife's when she was a little girl. She didn't have a lot of money. This is all she had. So they meant a lot to her. They meant a lot to me. But I thought, who better to give them to than you? Thank you. Take good care of them.
never had a dollhouse before. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> That's the best news I've had in a year. <laughs> Grandma, you ready to see your room? Oh, Come on. You. Game with me. Whatever happened to your parents? They were in a bad car crash. A big semi truck crossed the line and hit them. Though my grandmother was babysitting me that night, so. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened to your wife? Well, she was in a bad accident also. She went to work one night and didn't make it home. She was a police officer like I was. Your parents and her, they're in a better place now. Yeah. And we're gonna see them in heaven eventually. Mm -hmm. And they're watching down on us right now and they're probably smiling and happy. Yeah. When we can finish this game later, I have to call the mechanic about the Jeep. So. Okay. Okay. I'll meet up with you later on. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, Rachel. Hi. What are y'all doing? Me and my grandma are gonna go get some ice cream. Do you want anything? No, I'll pass on the ice cream this time. Thanks for offering though. I would give you a ride, but the Jeep's still in the shop, so. Oh. Did you call a cab or? We're just gonna be walking. We're fine. You wanna be safe, have fun. Bye. Okay, bye bye. I know it's been a long time since my last visit. I just couldn't find the courage to come back. It's time for me to move on. I have purpose again. I'm a father now. I've decided to adopt Rachel. I just wish you were here to help raise her into the woman that you were. Strong. Loving. Caring. So perfect. I love you with all my heart. I'll see you soon. Through the gates of heaven. It had been a while since Grandma passed on, but life's been good. God's done so much for me, and now I find much pleasure in taking long walks. Michael had adopted me, and we spend lots of time together. It's like God handed me a father. I knew we wouldn't be just friends but family almost when I first met him. God has raised me up from low to high, but when we didn't have much, we still had a lot, God and his love. We 
have a new life now, a better life, and we will always love. What would we do without God? We wouldn't even be alive without Him. Even nature appreciates love. I feel energy and happiness now. God gives to those who need and everyone who asks. No one is like our God. He is perfect. Though I couldn't see what God had in store for me, I never gave up, and I had hope. That Halloween, God sent a hero to rescue me. again because I'm weak it's going to be hard for me to forgive you a second time